the travel vlog for my final day in Jerusalem. I woke at 6.36. I remember because I was pretty disappointed. Having gone to bed at 1 a.m. I was hoping for a sleep until at least 10. Did not occur. So I woke at 6.36, stayed in bed for another half an hour trying to get back to sleep. Headed down for some breakfast and then went down to the old city. Had a walk around the northern ramparts. Uh, I'd done the, the southern ramparts much earlier in the trip and they were much more visually spectacular. Uh, but it was very interesting kind of being able to see into where a lot of people live in the old city and getting different vantage points off the Dome of the Rock as well, which is also very interesting. Long walk around, uh, finished that. And then I basically just ambled along looking for the, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre again uh, without too much success. I wasn't asking for directions, just thought I'd have a go at uh, seeing if I could find it myself. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed just, just walking along the old city, the old streets, some of them just beautiful, beautiful. And the, and the differences in the quarters as well was fascinating. So I did that for a little while. I eventually came upon the Via Dolorosa and followed a group getting told all about the different stations until I found the church. The reason I was looking for the church was I wanted to go to, uh, to St. Helena's cistern, which is underneath. It was a, an ancient cistern that was used when they were building the church, um, to obviously for water purposes. And it's you kind of go into this little half door, little half-sized door on the front, kind of right side of the church and then down this little passageway and then under some stairs uh, which sounds fascinating but the door was locked I don't know if that was because it was Shabbat or what uh, but that was a little disappointing so I went around the corner to the Church of the Redeemer which was a Protestant church built by uh, Kaiser Wilhelm at the end of the 19th century when he was trying to uh, kind of gain international recognition uh, he kind of he broke up the uh, Austro-Prussian bishopric in 1898 and with that money he, he built the Church of the Redeemer a beautiful church they kind of they'd also done an archaeological dig on it and and basically they had decided to, um, to keep that there as kind of a, a tourist kind of fascinating insight into it went right down to Jesus time and you could see the different layers and strata of the bricks uh, so that was fascinating as well. And then you could also go right up to the tower. So I managed to go right up to the tower and, and you kind of look down on the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, heard the bells going off in the church, and then on the way down again, heard the call for, for the, for the uh, Muslim call to prayer. So it just showed how cosmopolitan the old city is. Uh, then I headed back at around 4.30ish. We caught a taxi. Uh, because nothing else is running on Shabbat to the airport and I caught a 9.15 flight overnight to Hong Kong Airport that was a few hours ago and it's about five o'clock here in Hong Kong and I'm boarding in a couple of minutes and my flight leaves at 5.40 to get back to Australia at 6.55 so hopefully it's a Qantas A380. It's relatively comfortable and I may be able to get some sleep. We'll see how we go. It's been more than 20 hours since I woke up at 6.36. So a long day. Um, a lot of that spent trying to sleep in an upright position, which is never fun. Never fun at all. Uh, signing off the final vlog for my trip to Gandalf. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you guys around in Australia.